Hi, how are you? I'm Paul. Welcome back, or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Rio Driving School. And if you're learning to drive, preparing for a driving test, or perhaps you're even training to become a driving instructor, then yes, I think you're gonna love it around here. There's gonna be a lot of things that you can learn. Um, today, we are going to be in the car with a young lady called Alice. She's preparing for her practical driving test in the Litchfield area. So go grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's get right into this. Hi Alice, you right? Yeah. How do you feel about doing this today? Um yeah, so you've chosen Litchfield as your as your area where you're going to do your driving test. Do you, yeah. do you how do you feel about doing this test? It's not far away, I'm not gonna say exactly when it is, but it's not that far away. Um would if you were doing your test today, right now, what areas of your driving would you perhaps be a little bit concerned about? Or do you just feel quite comfortable and relaxed about it all? Um, I think it's just like judgement at roundabouts and things like that. Like, okay. I feel like sometimes I'm really hesitant. Okay, alright. So we can have a, a look at that today. Um, I am aware that you do have some difficulties with judging when it's safe to go or not. Um, we have done a little bit, a little bit of uh, work on roundabouts. Um, just tell me before we get going, what can we do to make life easier for ourselves when we're on the approach to a roundabout? What should you be doing uh, in preparation? I think like when I'm stopped, I like, use the handbrake to pull away faster. Maybe. Brilliant, yeah, yeah. What pulling away fast? What else will that handbrake uh, potentially prevent you from doing? Like rolling back. Rolling back, and more importantly, even stalling yeah we certainly don't want to commit ourselves to go uh, in a very short amount of time if there's something coming yeah. and then we stall and we're over that line so yeah handbrake is a good idea in a busy situation all right so we'll have a look at um, roundabouts now I'm gonna be mean all right okay. today I'm, I'm gonna do everything fair and unfair to try and trip you up today to try and expose those weaknesses okay. so that hopefully you go into the test center uh, and have a really easy drive, all right? Yeah. So don't worry about the outcome today. Um, we're gonna do our best to put everything right and make you as strong as possible, all right? all right? So what I want you to do today, I'm gonna make up a route around Litchfield. It will include the A38. I'm not particularly interested in the maneuver, although yeah. I might get you to do one if we've got time. Okay. Um, but for now, I just want you to follow the road ahead at all times, unless road signs or markings indicate otherwise, yeah. okay? Right. Uh, I'm gonna make some notes along the way. All right, so okay. when you're ready, bring the car forward, follow the road ahead, and I'll tell you where to go. Okay. slip through your fingers, I want yeah. you to control it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put one mark for steering. Mm -hmm. 
can you see properly? Might go forward a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> I was waiting for the trap. Always look both ways before yeah. you, you go, but this is fine, you've got no choice. Yeah. He's let you out. Okay. What I want you to do now is to follow the road ahead at the roundabout. You will need the right hand lane. And I want you to follow the road ahead uh, towards Tamworth, please. Tell me earlier about pulling away quickly at this roundabout. Ambrake, yeah. yeah. So why yeah. do you do it then? Quickly, I don't know. Okay, it's not a problem, <laughs> but it might just be easier. Yeah. And so I'm just going to put one for gear. Yeah. It wasn't really a problem though. You didn't stall, you've got really good clutch control. Nice. Okay, I need to follow the road ahead, please, at the roundabout right. towards Birmingham. I see 
see them and not move the car because they're much closer than what they appear to be. Yeah. Just a tip. If you always do that, you won't be surprised when they turn the pedal blue. Yeah. Okay, I want you, when you get to the roundabout, I want you to head towards Tamworth, please.
for roundabout, didn't it? Yeah. But it wasn't reinforced at that sign, was it? But yeah. you got it correct, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you thought it was wrong, it's still okay as long as you did it safely. Yeah. Alright, so with this slip road, get plenty of speed up to about 50, hold the wheel steady, yeah. and check over your shoulder in the blind spot, and now you know it's all good. We're going to just accelerate up to 70 now. Does that feel better? Yeah. should mean one thing not two. Yeah. Alright, so I'll just put one here for playing. Okay. You'd have probably panicked if you'd been in that lane because how are you going to turn right? You'd have yeah. to go left again perhaps. And that's fine. If you're in the wrong lane at a roundabout, always go the wrong way. It's yeah. okay. okay. So Litchfield. Mm. We're, all, we're all good. Just relax. Believe in yourself. You're more wound up than the Timex. <laughs> Can you see any sign for Litchfield? No. Well, Look across the roundabout there. Oh yeah. So what does it say? Can you see a number? What does it say underneath Litchfield? A5 something. A5127. Now look on the road. No. Position the car where it says 5127. That's it. You've got it. You've got it. That's it. There you go. Beautiful. Well done. Swaps. That wasn't easy, was it? No, it's confusing. If you can deal with that, you can deal with an examiner, but I don't think he's going to give you that kind of spaghetti. Right 
I'm going to go into the car park at the Trooper pub. <laughs> You're going to buy me a Philly steak, right? <laughs> I advise you use first gear and just slowly into the car park and then reverse the car into any space you like. Okay. Any space you like. It's such a weird car park. It well. is, it's a bit uneven, isn't it? Yeah. Choose any one you want, left or right, it's up to you. Just um, hmm. pause and have a think about it for a minute. Think about your strategy. Am I. Yeah, okay, that's fine, doesn't matter which one. Stop. But we do need to look somewhere. Yeah. What could be going wrong from the left here? Person. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's someone who's had four pints. Yeah. After, after work and then get into the car. Mm. Yeah, we will look out for them. Don't be sure you want have a good look all around. Do your best. I'm not particularly interested in this at the moment anyway. Alright. Okay. Take as much room as you need. You want to do all the hard work going forward so that when you go backwards yeah. you just need to go in a straight line. Okay. Maybe. Alright. You look behind you, make sure you do. Lovely control, well done. Thank you. To see the line. Where do where do where does the end of the bay need to be in relation to your mirror? If you want to open the door and have a little look behind you, how much room have you got behind you before you go into the car? Um, probably a little bit more, maybe. Mm, come on. Super, that's fine, that's lovely. Not easy, I know, okay. but I said it was going to be a pain today. Could they actually bring me here? Like, oh, yes, really? yeah. So we will get work done here before before we go in. Yeah. Don't worry. You did really well, actually. you just got to remember your observations. The fact that yeah. you made an adjustment is perfect. They, they want to see somebody who's got the sense to yeah. realise it's not right and fix it. That's what they want. Okay. They don't need to see a polished diamond on the day. Yeah. Someone who's just got the sense to park it properly. That's yeah. it. All right, let's get out of here then. We'll, we won't do too much longer today, but I'd like to go towards the, uh, the road turn line, please. People can come up on side of us. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, to the road turn right, out of the junction turn right. 
game turns. Just enough room to get out. Alright, so straight up those wheels now. Okay. And that'll do us there. Perfect, alright. Try one when you're ready. Possibly, yeah. But what's going to get you going quicker? You tell me when you think we're going to go because okay. this one's a bit, a bit dangerous if you get it wrong. You tell me. Examiners are expecting to follow signs, keep it left, keep oh, it left, yeah. yeah. He's check for the signs, check what's in front of you, look at the sign, look what's yeah. in front of you, and just keep your eyes dancing. Right. Yeah. Very easy to do that, and I've done it before, so yeah, I, I was kind of expecting that. But follow that, the road ahead, it's the second exit. Okay, would that be a fail? No, because you, you handled it, you just scared yourself doing it. <laughs> but you did handle it. I didn't, I didn't touch the brakes at all. Okay, that's right. So well done. Oh, this is another one. Oh, oh. So where are we going to look? In the park. Go on then. Do it. That's better. Well done. Oh. That's it. See how quickly you've got the confidence to go. Yeah. You see everything you need to see. 
lights are funny, but with the windows down you might not hear it. Yeah. So you've got to make a conscious effort to check these things. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna leave the next exit please. We're gonna round things off. the road can't they? so we don't know where any of them are going yeah so we mustn't assume Will be the other side of the gate. The other side. I, I sure. would, because if someone's coming up this road, they've got to get round you yeah. to get in there. Okay, sure. Technically mm -hmm. speaking, I oh, wouldn't worry. Okay. Technically speaking, this is legal. It's okay. You're not blocking that gate. Okay. A few yards in further forward, and that's yeah. a problem. And an examiner would be like, oh, you've done so well, and then you block yeah. the gate. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. How was it? Was I mean? Yes, I don't think you'll get that much. Why is that sure? I don't no worries, talking to the other road users. Uh. I don't think you're going to get that much dual carriageway. Yeah. I wanted to see you getting the car moving because I know that was a problem before. Yeah. Um, where were the problems today? The the the, the faults that were going to derail you? Um, I, I, can, I know what it is, I just can't remember when it was. Um, was it? I didn't cancel my signal, did I? Okay, so that was dual carriageway. Um, to be honest with you. If that signal doesn't affect anybody, it's not yeah. really a problem, it'll just be a driver fault. Yeah. They used to call them minor fault. There isn't such thing as a minor fault, it's yeah. a driving fault, you yeah. made a fault. But if it doesn't affect anybody else, is yeah. it really a problem? Uh, no. 
No, it's not ideal. It's a cancel, it's a cancel the signal. Um, for me, uh, and I might see other things as I rewind and watch the tape, but yeah. um, first of all, the slip road getting onto the dual carriageway, yeah. I'm, I'm like, um, the first time you got onto the dual carriageway, yeah. you were a little bit hesitant about getting on there. I'm like, yeah. come on, go for it. And I, had to, I had to break out of examiner mode and give you a bit of help with yeah. that. Um, also, bay parking. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't awful what you did, but you just yeah. forgot your observations. Yeah. Look around, we're expecting, you know, it's the end of the day, people might have had a drink after work, yeah. might be kids around. Yeah. Just have a look around before you move the car into the back and certainly both sides before you bring the car out again. Oh, wow. Your footwork was great, you know, it was horrible. Uh, I was a bit surprised at the amount of um, people that were using that car park. I thought we might have a few more spaces than that. Um, I have seen examiners ask people to drive forwards into a bay, but not reverse. But I, was just in, I was in the mood for that tonight. Okay. So, bay yeah, observations, slip roads, yeah. Um, other things, right at the beginning, the T-junction yeah. uh, by the stop sign. Mm. We're trying to turn left. Don't think you've noticed the kid who's um, pressed the button on the traffic lights to cross the road because you're really concerned with what was going yeah. on to the right. Be very careful because if someone flashes you to say, you know, you can get going, um, make sure you look both ways because I think you were surprised by the red light of the yeah, person crossing yeah. the road. So you, you did well to stop. A lot of people would have been caught out by that. But do look both ways before you commit yourself. Yeah. Um, and of course the vision I had to say to you, didn't I? Can you see properly? Yeah. And I'm thinking if I don't help you there a little bit, you might be stuck there for 10 minutes. Yeah. Steering. A couple of times as we're steering, you're sort of letting the steering wheel go or even yeah. pushing it and letting it go. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay. Sooner or later, especially on these roads, potholes all over the place. Yeah. Well, if you go into a pothole and expect the steering wheel to straighten up properly just the way you have been, yeah. sooner or later it's not going to do that. And if you're accelerating because you're in a hurry, I don't know what's going to happen to the car. Yeah. So you bring that steering wheel back yourself and you control it. <laughs> Gears. Um, I marked it as a fault, it wasn't really an issue because you pulled off at the roundabout. I was thinking, do I help you with this? Do I help you? Because um, if you'd have stalled, if something's coming, but yeah. when you decided to go, there was nothing coming. So I thought, let's see, let's see yeah. what happens. And you know what? You dealt with it just fine. So it's not really an issue. But just, just be aware of that. Mirror, when you're in standing traffic, who yeah. we're looking for? Bob and Tom. Yeah people on two wheels um, and yeah when I asked you again when we were on the dual carriageway and says you're now following the signs to Canic oh, yeah. there was a sign that says left and then when you got at, actually at that roundabout then you didn't see any more signs for Canic did you and you're like am I going the right way am I going the wrong way and I think you started to panic a little bit yeah I want you to have the attitude that I don't care if this is wrong this is the way I'm going to go yeah and it's absolutely fine an examiner might shrug his shoulders if you've gone the wrong way or maybe even say something sarcastic on my driving test one of mine I had I had seven driving tests when I, I was young because yeah. I was terrible at driving and on <laughs> one of my driving tests I took the wrong exit at the roundabout I ended up at a McDonald's drive-through and he asked me if we were stopping for a McFlurry. Yeah. Uh, it, it, do, it doesn't make you, you know, it, it puts you on edge, but it's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, so go wrong safely. Planning. I said we're now following the signs to Litchfield. Yeah. Get that in your head now. We've done this. It's yeah. the 5127. Look for signs for Litchfield. There will be a, a number underneath that Litchfield direction it will be A5 or A5127 or A34 wherever it is we're going yeah. and then just look for those relevant road markings it's really going to help you a lot okay. again though if you go wrong it doesn't really matter it's not like you're going to end up on the motorway by accident that would be a problem on the driving uh, test yeah. but there are no motorways nearby <laughs> so just relax it's yeah. fine that's it any other thoughts on your side what would you like to focus on next time? I don't know, probably like just. Yeah, I'll take a photo of that then. Yeah. I'll take a photo of this lot. Yeah. And 
and then we can look at that. But overall, I did I did pile the pressure on you, yeah. so it looks worse than it is. Yeah. All right. So yeah, guys, what do you think? Do you think um, Alice? Did you spot anything that I didn't spot? I want you to leave your questions, your comments down below. Uh, and of course, please subscribe to the channel. And we're off on the next one. Take it easy. Bye for now.